This video is one of those that you would think would actually be kind of obvious, but it's one of those uh, resources that I actually had a pretty hard time finding. Um, and that's going over the movement and angle controls and navigation within Upland. Uh, you know, angling the camera up or down or pitching it so that we can see the front of our buildings instead of just the, the beautiful roof? <laughs> Question mark? Um, so there's a lot of ways that we can actually do that that you might not have known about, and that's something that we definitely want to know how to do. Hey there, John Henry here, SSFTG, welcome to the video. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome my friend, I hope to earn your like and subscription today. General navigation in Upland uh, is challenging at times, and so I wanted to get a, a, a way to kind of figure out all of the different navigation methods. Uh, how can we move around? What different controls were there? Were there any hidden key combinations that I didn't know of? And I'm sure there might have been some that I may have missed. Um, but there wasn't really a guide anywhere that I could find that kind of broke these down, so, well, there definitely needs to be one, so let's get into it. Before we jump on in, I wanted to make sure to take care of a Street View submission as well from Mick. Thank you for posting these. I really appreciate it. 7503 North Lewis Ave in Kansas City. Uh, 7503 North Lewis Ave in Kansas City. Uh, how's that got there and why? Let's take a look at the Street View. Let's... <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a, it looks like a, a, a sports... Uh... Oh man, here here comes my uh, my my lack of knowledge about certain sports teams. Uh, that's a a sports mascot, and it looks like they hung their shoes from it. Uh, unless I'm missing something else, I think that's probably what we're looking at here. That's really funny. That's a pretty clever way to dry your shoes out in a bad rainy day, huh? All right, and then the next one is 1817 Grand Street in Alameda. Very nice and professional meeting room for workers who help people every day. All right, let's take a look here. We'll go into the street view. Oh wow, what Karen shit. Oh, wow. Okay. We're, we, this is like, a. Are, are we supposed to have these pictures? Is this like, a? is this a hidden meeting that maybe, uh, maybe, maybe we shouldn't be seeing? Hang on a second now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is actually really cool to be inside here, but <laughs> it's kind of curious. What a weird picture to have as a street view. It almost makes me think I'm breaking the law here. Let's, uh, let's just jump on out of here. Obviously, we're just kidding here, but those are really, really cool street view submissions. Thank you so much for posting those. I love seeing them. First off, obviously, the mouse wheel is how you zoom in and out, right? So you mouse wheel in and it zooms in, or up, rather, and it zooms in. You mouse wheel down and it zooms out. Relatively straightforward stuff. But did you know that there was actually a way to focus zoom on specific areas? Really cool thing that you can do. You hold down shift on the keyboard, and then you use your left mouse to drag over an area. And you'll notice that my keyboard kind of changed. Now, or my, my mouse cursor kind of changed. Now I've got this kind of highlighted gray area, and when I let go, it'll zoom into that space. So if I want to zoom into the new Oracle building, I can highlight that area, and it will zoom me in. Not close enough, we can zoom in a little bit closer. Really cool way to kind of focus zoom in on specific areas. Now the next one is going to be rotating the camera angle. If I wanted to see the front or back of this, then I need to be able to see it. Now I can do that by using the right mouse button and just dragging it left or right and then I will be able to rotate it. Uh, and that's one way to go about doing it. Now if I were to use the arrow keys on the keyboard, left arrow key, right arrow key, it moves me left and right. If I go forward, down, it doesn't rotate the camera. What I have to do is hold down shift and then the left arrow, right arrow, and that will rotate the camera instead. So it's a little bit of a different way to navigate it, but it kind of achieves the same thing. Again, honestly, most people are just going to use the mouse for this kind of stuff. Now, one thing that is pretty apparent and, one, and something that I've wanted to know for ages, and it took me forever to figure it out, uh, but is figuring out how to see the front of a building. Like, okay, cool. This is the new MetaVentures M Motors uh, factory, or whatever you want to call it, and, well... You know, awesome roof, <laughs> I guess, you know, but this isn't exactly that appealing. Like, if I wanted to zoom in, okay, cool, you've got some sweet details for duct work on the ceiling. But that doesn't, that doesn't help me, I want to see the front of the building. So what we can do is hold down shift and use the up arrow and down arrow instead. And that will pitch the camera down or back so we can actually zoom in and see this really really cool structure we can see all the different details on the buildings if i want to zoom into a specific area i can hold down shift and i can use my selector tool and it will zoom me in so i can see that specific spot but this is a way that we can actually see some of the in incredible details on these buildings in a way that you can finally actually see the front of your own houses instead of staring at the roof right um, another example would be one of the buildings that i actually 
just completed uh, that uh, we did a video on not too long ago. It finally finished up there. And that was on 139 Voyage Mall. Uh, nope, that's... Wait, these are already constructions in process. Hang on a second. We go into assets. We go into structures. There it is. 143 Voyage Mall. Nice. So if I want to go over here and I want to see this, like right now I'm looking at the roof. Okay, cool, you know, but like if I want to actually see it and see what it looks like, then we're going to have to do a little bit of modification to the camera. So let's go on over there and check out what it looks like. Zoom out, zoom out, rotate this so we're back on the, uh, on the default view here. And then let's go on down to Venice Beach and see what this looks like. I know my properties are there. There we go. <laughs> I was going to say, I know they should be there. Zoom in a little bit, and now we can use the camera to pitch that bad boy down, and now we can actually see the buildings in all of their really cool glory. All right, so hopefully this guide helps you in understanding some of the controls within Upland. Did I miss any? Maybe there are a few secondary combos or button presses that I missed along the way that aren't on the list. Drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys in general, and that way we can kind of further complete the list for everybody else. Until the next one, thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the metaverse.